here's the the length of the bubbler. I'll go see now if that fits in the in the van. Right, so you can see I've got it in here. It's behind the grill. So that should look quite good when it's bubbling. Now it's time to work out where to stick this two foot loop. It's not going to be two foot, but as you can see, you can have a look in here, look. Just shows how much room there's in there. That should give some indication of size. That's two feet from the bottom of the pipe to here so you can see I've got loads of room for a cell and it can either go that side or down here down there might be a bit tricky just because of everything that's on top of it hmm not decided yet Right, okay, um, I just started cutting these square bits off. You may remember before, I've got a big mess here, so excuse it for a moment. Right, remember before, what I did was chop the corners off and it caused a short. So this time I'm going to cut the whole lot off. As you can see by this line, and then go up there. So it'll just leave this tab out the top. And there'll be uh, a few of those. I haven't decided how many plates I'm going to use yet, but there's going to be a few of these on the cell sticking up. So it should be nice and neat and easy to easy to connect to. You'll notice I've got some uh, safety glasses on. Safety first. Right, so I've cut off these corners on all of them. Here's one of the off cuts. So I'll put them all together and I'm going to drill through all three plates here. Um, I've decided to only go with three because it takes so long just to get through one of these plates and cut off the corner. So I'm going to drill through here, make a hole so that it's even. Right, okay, so now we've got um, our three electrodes. It's not exactly centre, but uh, <laughs> I ain't a very good fabricator. Still, it should be okay. Now I think I should tidy up a bit. Right, I've got, I've, uh, I've put all these the cable ties in here now, both sides. They're equal distance apart so on all ends and all corners, so I think we're quite I'm quite happy with that. You can see you know some of them aren't exactly equal distance it don't seem. And I think that's just where the, the plates are a bit rounded at the ends. So hmm. I'll see I've got to push these in now, these these cable tires into a certain distance like equal along all along so when it glues the glue will go inside and uh, hold it together so uh, I'll see what the spacing is like after that right so I've been doing this uh, I'm been trying to put the the cable ties inside at the at the right depth and I've been finding it difficult I was just using this braddle to begin with so what I've done now is I've improvised uh, this little thing I've got this really 
Finn 304 stainless that's, that a uh, smart scarecrow sent me and I've got a, a spare plate of mine and right at the bottom you can see I've clamped it so that at the bottom there's a, uh, a lip you know so now when I push it inside inside there it will push the cable tie equally along the whole length of it to uh, the, the correct depth or to the same depth I should say so it will be a consistent depth all the way along and I'll do that for both sides and uh, I'll show you afterwards right so that worked better than expected actually as you can see they're all pretty even and it took me less than about what to be a minute or two minutes maybe so yeah I'd recommend that to anyone who wants to uh, get the a consistent and uh, an easy way to do it just clamp clamp a bit of metal to another bit of metal at the right at the right depth easy <laughs> I've just cut out the uh, two sides to go on the cell uh, I'll, I'll take off the protective stuff and uh, prepare the gluing right I've now got my marine group ready the perspex ready that will go on there once I've glued it right um, so I've glued this side and this side I'm going to put some weight on here now to hold it down but it should be okay really and I've just got to wait for the glue to dry now which might take a couple of days but uh, I've still got to build the cell casing anyway so I'll do me right so I've come outside now I'm going to uh, prime this up at both ends with this primer and then use the PVC cement to add this on that end and uh, this screw on one on the other end okay right so I've added the primer now I, <laughs> I had intended of doing it just round the edges but uh, it leaked down so I thought well I'll make it purpley pinky colour to match the cell so now I'm going to add this cement if I can open it I had this trouble with this what I've had to do is use the handles of my pliers to grip it that's it another handy tip right so now we'll try this cement So now I've added both ends. Completed it. 